Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Communications Minister Yunus Karim has revealed that some progress is being made in resolving the set-top box battle between broadcasters. Natasha Woodendahl joins me to discuss these developments. Hi Natasha. Hi. After a year, there finally seems to be some movement in the set-top box battle between broadcasters. Can you tell us what is happening at the moment? Well, yes, there seems to be a lot of action on the ground now at the Department of Communications. And Minister Karim actually wants to try and close the gaps between many projects, one of them being digital migration. Now, because of all the hiccups last year between the broadcasters and the DOC, which had just about halted the project, um, Yanis Karim has actually now moved in and said, OK, they're going to look at, well, they're going to put together a facilitation team to look at what th the problem actually is between the broadcasters about access control for set-top boxes. Um, he's now said that come December 4th, Cabinet will make a decision on it, which should actually enable everybody to move forward, um, get the subsidised set-top boxes manufactured and roll out digital migration. Digital migration feeds into government's aim of ensuring broadband for all by 2020. This has left the Department of Communications scrambling to finalise several policies. Yes, and one of them would be obviously their broadband um, plan and their strategy towards getting um, broadband to all by 2020. Um, the Minister has also now come in and also pushed for December 4th um, the approval of the new plan that he's revised. Particularly to schools and government um, entities, um, the Department of Communications wants to roll out broadband 100% across all of these institutions by 2020. Um, they would even push it to 2030 in some cases, but it needs to be done. Now this new broadband policy that has come out has been heavily revised by the new minister and he wants to roll it out as soon as possible. And what about the integrated information and communication technology uh, policy that the department was overhauling? Now, with regards to the ICT um, integrated policy, a lot has been done so far. I mean, um, the Department of Communication has promised a green paper by the end of this year. Uh, it's almost complete. It's just being edited at the moment. And they hope to actually publicize it shortly thereafter, probably early next year. Um, they'll have it out to everybody. Um, following that, they'll work on a white paper as well. And, and they would host a um, conference to try and get all the stakeholders together to try and, you know, finalise the finer points of this integrated policy and hopefully once that is done all the policies will be streamlined. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.